Right, so I figured I'd make a little quick video here on how to things you can do to make your car last longer. I noticed uh, when I was had a video up, uh, some guys were commenting that their car didn't last uh, because it was a poorly made car, and 99, 98, 97% of the time, except for some of the cars made in possibly um, countries like uh, Korea, maybe, uh, that is not the issue, and even some of those aren't too bad today. Back years ago, when they first started making them there, they had a lot of issues, but um, I'm going to talk to you about things you can do to make your car last longer, things to watch out for, things to uh, get a little more, a few more years out of your car. Your average car should last about 200,000 miles. If you're not getting that many miles out of your car, then chances are you're doing one of these things wrong. So, uh, you know, of course, use it at your own risk. And, and of course, this is just my opinion, but uh, be sure to comment below if you're positive or negative about this. We'd love to hear about it, and I would encourage other people to read those comments. Sometimes you can learn from those comments. I might have forgot something in the video, and uh, helps everybody out. So, number one, uh, one of the things people make the most mistakes on is the type of oil they're using. Um, like, in this particular car, uh, it has a European specification for 507, and some of the older cars had the 505.1. And for it, and there's it's a whole big thing. It's supposed to have a you know specific synthetic oil in it. Um, a lot of the new cars are recommending synthetic oil, but I'm going to tell you that in every car, I would always recommend synthetic oil. And uh, we're going to go over brands in a second here, so hang on. Um, one of the things I found over the years, and I've been own cars and worked on them many years and I always have 200 300,000 miles on my cars at least before I get rid of them and um, one of the things I found I'm, I'm at like 245 on this car and you look at it it's not bad it's you know clean car take care of it I'm gonna own it for at least uh, 400,000 so uh, and I won't have to rebuild the engine either uh, the the things that you need to look out for in the oil are uh, the, from years ago when I used to change oil, I remember taking the drain plug out of cars and I could tell, I could go, I take the drain plug out and I drain it and I go, the drain, the, the oil would come out in like two seconds and I go, oh, pens oil. And I look on the ticket, they want pens oil. I pull out, pull out the drain plug on the next one and it come running out really fast and I go, oh, it's probably pens oil Quaker State. Pens oil Quaker State, one of the two. Or, you know, a mobile basic oil or bulk oil you know so um a lot of people think you know oil is oil is oil um that's absolutely not true and then i would get a car that came in and i said and i would drain it out and i would just take the drain plug out the oil's hot and everything else and it comes out dirty but just like i put it in same consistency like i put it in i look on the ticket castrol motor oil so um i switched a lot of things over to castrol motor oil years ago and now I'm actually switching to, I switched many years ago to synthetic oil. And so oil, and I used to get, you know, 300,000 miles, 250,000 miles out of just Castrol motor oil. And with synthetic, you know, you can even get up to 400,000 on an engine. So the, the thing is, it, it is synthetic oil is really good. Like oil, oils like Royal Purpose, really good. Uh, that's an expensive oil. Mobile One's really good. Um, Castrol's synthetic, 100% synthetic is excellent. And I like that one the best because it's priced comparable. Um, the other ones I don't really know about because I just stay away from them because I've sticked with Castrol brand because of the issues that I had early on. So I don't trust the others. You know, so I got to the point where I know that those brands. So if you stick with Castrol motor oil, uh, synthetic in most of your cars, except for this brand right here, if you have a Volkswagen, you got to go to, to uh, synthetic, and I use Pentosin, uh, Motul, or you know some of those other things for Volkswagen. It's got different specs. Uh, uh, Total is another good oil for this. It's all German oil, so and they all have specific specifications for the engine, and it's because things like 
the turbo seal leaks a little bit of oil and that's part of the way it works and that keeps the oil residue from building up I believe in your intake system a lot of people don't know that but um, the, the, the another thing that you should do and one of the things people do is they wait till their car breaks and then they get it fixed uh, maintenance is everything everything revolves around maintenance on your engine so at every interval most cars were between 60 and 80,000 miles you should be changing your water pump and all your belts so your timing belt if it's if it's if you have a car with a timing belt um, you should be replacing that timing belt on the factory recommended interval so and at the same time you replace the timing belt the other belts and the water pump uh, and what this does is this promotes and, and using good quality parts, no cheap parts. Make sure that you get the best quality parts available. Like if you have a German manufactured car, try to get a German uh, manufactured water pump. Um, if you have a you know Toyota, Nissan, Honda, try and get one that's made in Japan. You know that sort of thing. You know some of the Chinese parts are okay, but you know it's kind of hit and miss. You don't know. So, uh, but you know. Do your research. Don't just buy the part and just think, oh, it's new. It's the same as the others. No, it's not. Not always. So try and get the best quality parts for you can. Uh, if if your mechanic, you make sure your mechanic's on board with that. Um, the thing the thing about doing that is some people say, well, you know, hoses and stuff like that um, can blow, and you know, you can have a hose blow in, on the side of the road, and you can actually take tape and wrap it around and wrap it around and wrap it around that hose and leave the radiator cap on loose and make it to some place where it needs to go without you know ruining the engine but when your water pump goes out and it leaks all the fluid out of it then you know and you're out in the middle of nowhere um you know you might burn up your engine trying to get it into town so you know it's better to do those things on a maintenance interval the same thing i'm going to tell you a little bit about is another issue that's a maintenance interval is your brakes so people go down, they get a brake job, and they go, oh, just give me the cheapest brake pads. No. You know, most cars, and do your research on this, you know, check out if some cars don't like these, but most of them do. Um, like on this car here, uh, it wasn't recommended. But I went with the uh, uh, ceramic brake pads. So when you change your brake pads, uh, make sure you either go with OEM, original, factory, or check into ceramic make sure that they're that they're available for your car make sure that they will work on your car do some research ceramic brake pads on your pads now the reason i use those is they dissipate heat better than the others um, you can lose some stopping ability but um in this car uh i didn't notice any difference in stopping ability really myself and i did and I have less uh, issue with the rotors warping. So like if you ever get that thing where you step in the brakes and the steering wheel goes like this, that's your rotors warping. So um, if you if you uh, go with ceramic, you have less likelihood of that happening. So those are just a few things you can do. Of course, your normal things like change change your oil on a, on a particular interval. You know, with the synthetic oil, you can you can change it a little longer. Um, and you can you can even run it 7,500 miles in a lot of cars, or even higher. This car is 10,000 miles, um, and still get a have your engine last a long time because you're using a better quality oil. It'll actually last longer by using that high quality oil and changing the oil less than it does if you use the cheap like Pennzoil Quaker State or bulk oil, which all of those you should absolutely stay away from. Uh, uh, Quenzel, Penzoil, Quaker State, bulk oil. Uh-uh, none of those. Bulk oil is is junk. You would never want that in your car. Even if you change it every 2,000 miles, you wouldn't. your engine would not last as long as if you use synthetic and change it every 10. So um, I'm not telling you uh, what your interval is on your oil change. Use the factory recommended specification for that. And, you know, I'm doing between five and 10,000 miles on most of my cars. It's somewhere in there and it's all synthetic. And the cars I'm getting two to 300,000 miles at, at least out of the engine without having to do any major repairs. So um, if you stick with those are the basic things, if you stick with those ideas, that will help you stay in a, um, you know, in a, you know, and, and of course taking care of the car, you know, not, you know, driving it like it's a freaking 
race car all the time, you know, swerving in and out of lanes and things like that, you know, and, and easing onto the gas and letting it go through the gears and letting off gently, you know, those types of things, that'll help it last longer. But, um, of course, your driving technique is, is part of it. But, you know, if you're taking care of it on all those ways and you're still having issues with the car not lasting, try the other ones that I'm talking about and maybe you'll be surprised. It'll start helping you get your car to last longer. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe and comment below. Thanks.